Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another patch note video. So we have one upcoming patch note, thirtieth of August. August. We're soon reaching September soon. So let's dive right into it. Let's not waste any time. Oh, it's a new hero, Parsifal. All right. So we need 700 genes to recruit her and 1000 gene fragments for her awakening skill. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's, I'm glad that they, you know, they are reducing the number of genes required for awakening skills. I don't like it when it's like 5000 or 8000 or 10,000. All right, first skill, solar shot. Man, that range. That's pretty awesome. Shoots a solar arrow inflicting 143.4% damage on all enemies and decreasing their defense by 600 for one turn. This seal increases Parsifal's final skill power by 5% if it hits enemies 4 or more tiles away from here. From her? From here? From her, right? From her. Ignore the E. Alright, second skill. Soul Divide. Sunlight explodes, damaging enemy within its range with its ray at 153.2%. If this skill hits two or more enemies, it ignores their defense by 2800. Additionally, its final power increases by 20% if she has two or more buffs obtained from active skills. Alright, cool. Uh, extremely cool second skill. Uh, yeah, there's an ignore defense as well. That's a new thing, like almost every hero has ignore defense nowadays, come on. Alright, Solar Ray for third skill, Condensed Sunlight explodes, damaging enemies within its range at 194.3% attack and causing additional damage that equals 5% of their max HP. Alright, so that's pretty cool that it has 5% of max HP uh, damage. Paper type enemies receive additional damage of 7% of their max HP. Oh, so if she deals uh, damage with third skill on paper type enemies so the paper type enemies will receive 7 plus 5 uh, 12 percent of their max hp gone wow pretty cool passive skill is solar burst parsifal every time she uses a skill on enemies achieves 7 percent higher attack and 4 percent higher critical damage for three turns ah sounds like a very strong guild rate skill so stacks up to three times that means it goes up as high as 21% increase in attack and 12% increase in crit damage. So solar shot range increases by 1 for 1 turn while she is on water tile. Solar ray. A solar shot. Solar shot. So that's her first skill. Ah, interesting. So she might be, might be viable in certain guild raid uh let's see friday there's a water tile on friday there's a water tile on tuesday yeah she could be viable in these two days uh, let's see that means that her first skill will have an additional one range all right that's pretty cool awakening skill solar strike drops a small sun inflicting damage at 844.4 percent attack and deals additional damage at 19.5% of max HP. So if this skill hits 3 or more enemies, it ignores their defense by 5,000. Very cool awakening skill. Love it. Alright. So you can obviously recruit her from the guild shop. Alright, let's have a look at the guild improvements. What have they improved? What can we look forward to? There's a Dark Fortress improvements free season. So they are adding the practice mode. Uh, really liking this. A new button for practice mode will be added besides the existing enter button. You can practice the dungeon of that day. You can use mercenaries without play count limits during practice mode. The best score acquired will not be recorded. Okay. So Dark Fortress map redesigned. So they are changing uh, Elusive Magic Fortress for Thursday and Explosive Gun Fortress on Saturday. Difficulties and map design of the above dungeons will be adjusted. So this is Thursday's one. Hmm, still looks the same. Oh no, they changed quite a bit. So the tile right there. Uh, they changed quite... Very minor change. Uh, still the same concept. 
unless the boss uh, spawns at a different spot then we might find out on that day itself but other than that uh, not much of a change let's have a look at Saturday's one. Oh, uh interesting has the plus sign always been there is the plus sign always there yeah, I I've never noticed it but looks cool I have a feeling the boss will spawn in the middle so you can put like mass or some five tower uh, skill range hero on those tiles all right we'll figure it out guys we'll figure it out dark fortress difficulties and rewards change dungeon clear soul stone so instead of 124 we are getting 250 soul stones for clearing uh, the guild raid every day so daily individual rewards change you can randomly obtain soul stone and soul gear summon scroll daily rank rewards improvements oh Oh! Oh, they're changing. They're changing a lot of things now. So they're changing the rewards from getting scrolls every day uh, to getting soul stones every day. So if you're first, you're getting 200... 24,000, sorry. Uh, second, 16,800. Third, 16,000. Soul stones. Uh, that's interesting, I guess. Alright, how about... Oh, okay. It goes all the way up there. So, how about the weekly one? Weekly Soul Gear Rewards Improvements. So, if you are... Oh, they are changing all the Summon Scroll piece to Soul Stones only. I'm not sure if that's better. It might be, I'm not sure. 150,000... Uh, 150 will now be 50,000. 130 will be 47,000. It could be slightly better, I don't know. Uh, yeah, overall, soul stones are definitely much more useful and you are using it to enhance your uh, skills most of the time, your soul gears. The best amount of points obtained will be recorded instant of points accumulation. Alright, so they are, you can do two runs now and they will take one of the the better ones for your score for calculation and the last one will not be added it will not be added together so they will just take one of it which is whichever score is the higher ones you can either use dark keys or crystals to play additional one time cool you will not be able to continue battle what does that mean mm, all right now you can change the name of your guild oh I thought we can always change the name of the guild. Can we before this? I have no idea. You can change the guild name under management tab. Changing the guild name will cost 50 crystals. The name cannot contain vulgar words and names that already exist. Makes sense. So you can also change the crest of your guild with the cost of 50 crystals. Not too interested in that. New items at the guild shop. We will have Soul Gear, Parsifal, Gin, gin fragment, you can purchase 100 gin fragments daily. Similarly, the purchase counts for the existing Valkyrie gin fragments will be 100. Cool, so they are increasing uh, how many gin fragments you can purchase for Valkyrie. Alright, so we have perfect gin fragments as well. You can purchase up to 80 perfect gin fragments weekly. Ah, that's cool. Every week you can get eight, 80 perfect jeans. Soul stone can be purchased with soul gear summon scroll. You can purchase 200 soul stones with one summon scroll. Uh, hasn't that always been there? That's weird. Guild shop currency for soul gear summon scroll. Soul gear will be consumed when purchasing soul gear summon scroll instead of soul gear summon scroll piece. 60,000 soul stones. Alright. Hero rebalancing states and skill of rage and unknown will be rebalanced. Alright, so I've already done sort of like a video of it. Uh, if you guys haven't watched it already, you can check it out in the top right corner. So I there will be links in the description as well. So uh, do check that video out. Uh, generally, uh, everything that needed to be covered is already in that video. So I won't go again. Uh, go everything again. So let's 
Let's skip to the next part. So awakening hero. So the uh, unknown is getting awakened. Explosive fist. That's his awakening skill. Explodes inner energy and removes all the buffs received. Attacks enemies in his range and strikes the ground, knocking back enemies by two tiles. Unknown also grants himself immunity to all abnormal status effects for one turn at a certain chance. Sounds cool, like he's immune to disarm, like stun, confusion. But I wonder how much percentage, how much chance is it? If it's 50 50, then I'll be like, huh, ah, too, too, too much of a gamble for me. But seems like a pretty good. Awakening skill. Let's have a look at Rage one. Fever time rapidly fires its gun at enemies in the front, inflicting damage. Caesar enemies are immobilized and consume more mana to cast skills for one turn. If this skill hits a single enemy, it additionally inflicts defense ignoring damage. Alright, cool. So the awakening skill is uh extremely strong against a Caesar type enemy. Two new stories about Parsifal will be added. Human Nature Investigator approaching this pair. Improvements! Auto skill setup on combat details window. You can set up which skills to use during auto battle. What? Really? Uh, it's applicable to World Conquest, Neptis Dungeon, Lost Island, Library in the Sky, Guild Raid. Oh. Oh my god, this. This could be game changing. Guild Raid? So you can choose which skills to use in Guild Raid. You can off the skills even. Wow! In World Conquest, in Neptis Dungeon, in Lost Island, and in Library as well. Cool! Alright, Awakening Skill Adjustment. Soul bad guy, dun 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 dun. All right, they are debuffing him, they are nerfing him. Release fire seals, extinguishing fire, attacking enemies at two hundred thirty five point nine percent attack. All right, so ignores the selected uh, target's defense by six thousand. If Sol is in cannot be healed status, this skill inflicts burn on all enemies within range for two turns. Burn targets inflict damage on all allies in a one tile range at sixty seven percent attack. At the beginning of each turn. Alright, so they def definitely nerfed that. I believe it was like 150% previously. Now it's like 67% attack. So the burn is not as strong anymore. I believe the modifiers are still the same. But overall, yeah, they definitely a much needed nerf. So he's still viable without his awakening skill. Uh, just that the burn is getting nerfed. The number of turns to be waited will be displayed for the awakening skill on the skill info window. Alright, that's cool. So I was wondering when they will add this man. Like if you want to check how many turns required to use your awakening skill, like there's no way of checking that unless you actually awaken a hero and use it in battle. But right now it's right there in the skill menu as well. So that's cool. Good job Nexon, good job. Miscellaneous content, September Tower of Dawn, September Attendance, alright, cool. So, seems pretty similar to our current Man 1. Inspector Gerard Nox costume at Honor Shop. 1,500 battle coins, you can purchase it once. Oh, interesting. Nox. Wait, what stats does it give? It's not mentioned here, right? Ah, oh, that's weird. Well, it's permanent anyways. Who cares, right? Expedition event. The required time for expedition will be 30% off during the event period. Cool. Guild Raid Achievement Bonus event. The Dark Fortress rewards will be changed to Soul Gear Summon Scroll times 1 during the event period. Alright, so there'll be a Guild Raid Achievement Bonus event. Dark Fortress Rewards. Alright. So Soul Gear Summon Scroll Peace times 2. Now will be Soul Gear Summon Scroll times 1. That's awesome, man. So I believe this is the dailies, right? 
Yeah, the one, the daily, if you play the guild raid, you get two scrolls. Instead of that, you in, instead of getting two scroll pieces, you get one summon scroll immediately. That's cool. September birthday hero costume. Let's have a look who is born in September. Serendi! Uh, her costumes are pretty decent. Movement 1, attack and crit rate. And then we have Moa, Electra, Celestial as well. Not bad. I might get Celestial's one. Huh, 400 crystals. Yeah, I might get Celestial's one. Let's see. Price of Blue Unknown Jin will be 30% off. Alright, so from 5000 friendship points, it's now 3500 friendship points. Cool. Unknown and Rage Skill Up event. So you'll get rewards if you skill up their skills. So first skill level 10, subjugation ticket times 30, not bad. Second skill level 10, 2000 mana stones. Third skill level 10, perfect gene fragments times 200 and awakening working skill level 10, 200 crystals. Alright, that's kind of cool. For rich, you're getting 5 energy potions for first skill max. 15,000 soul stones for second skill max. Perfect gene fragments times 200 for third skill max and 200 crystals for awakening skill level 10. So yeah guys, make sure you actually try your best to max, le max level the awakened skill. So max it out to level 10, then you're getting 200 and 200, 400 free crystals. Right, stack up those uh, ancient coin and... What is that? Uh, what's rich one? Blue jeans, yeah. You'll be using those. New package and items. Oh yeah, Parsifal's uh, special box. So you're getting her set equipment and things like that. Cool, cool. No price, but pretty sure it's standard. Bird out of his nest. Swallow bow, parakeet suit, vulture helm. Alright, let's have a look. Ghost walk for one turn upon eliminating an enemy. For two set. Alright, if she kills someone, she gets to ghost walk. What does that mean? Does it mean she can move through enemies? Uh, if you have three set effect, increases attack by 60% for the first three turns. Increase directional strategy power by 15%. Whoa! That's pretty cool, man. 15% is, is, is pretty good. Directional strategy power. Huh. In, and it's permanent, I believe, uh, since this attack by 60% is the first 3 turns. So her directional strategy power by 15% is permanent, it's always there. So that's kind of cool. I wonder what does ghost walk means. Uh, does it mean move through enemies or just getting an insane amount of movement? Alright, we'll, we'll see when it comes out. Midsummer Parsifal. Oh, obviously there's her um, costume as well. Not bad. Unknown and Rich Special Box. There's a package that you get the costume for Unknown and Rich. Oh, there's a new costume for Unknown. Back Alley Blue Wolf. And Rich as well. Blonde June. Alright. They both give a uh, attack plus 300, counter rate plus 200 for unknown, and HP 1200 and dodge by 200 by uh, for rich. Pretty cool. Uh, I saw Nox one. Alright, so Nox costume give 475 attack, 250 dodge. You can get his gene fragments by uh, for 1500, you can purchase this entire package and get his costume as well. His costume is pretty much free if you play BOH daily shouldn't have difficulty getting 1500 uh, honor coins yeah. all right so we have blue unknown gene box all right no idea what's that energy premium package one and two will be on sale permanently cool packages under available year round awakening conquest package and en energy premium package one and two blue unknown gene box again 
purchase limit one. Cool. The error for set effect of imperfect test subject lasting for two turns has been fixed. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I did. I did uh, hear some of someone was talking about this. Uh, I can't remember where they are read it. Was it in Facebook? Someone was mentioning that uh, imperfect test subject lasts for two turns. So right now it only lasts for one turn. They have they fixed that already apparently after the patch the error for nickname change ticket not working properly has been fixed so that error has been around for forever when entering world conquest after using subjugation ticket you will now be automatically redirected to the dungeon you have used subjugation ticket on all right so the error for the web view event page not being displayed properly was fixed wrong heroes being displayed after loading an existing party has been fixed you can now play fantasy war tactics R on Android O 8.0 version, alright, cool. The error for Ram Little Valentine's Soul Gear weapon being reversed 180 degrees has been fixed. Event completion, alright, we have sales of Yeka uh, and Camellia have been completed twice, the guild rate attendance rewards has been completed twice, the laboratory rewards, blah blah blah, August birthday hero, alright, cool, cool. Alright guys, uh, that's it for the patch note. As usual, let me know what are the things you guys are excited of the most. For me, I really like Parsifal as a hero. Uh, she seems pretty solid. I really like her set and I wonder how we can actually implement her in guild rate because it seems like that's that's where she will shine the most, you know. By placing her on the water tile, she gets that uh, additional range on skill 1. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait for people to come up with strategy with her. I might try myself to come up with something with her. She seems pretty cool. Uh, other than that, I'm, I really like Unknown. And I can't wait for his stats boost. They did not release it in this uh, patch note. Uh, rich as well, but I'm more excited of Unknown because yeah, he resembles Ryu and stuff, stuff. So yeah, let me know uh, Which other thing that excite that excites you the most and if you haven't already you can subscribe to my channel and give this video a like I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye